everyone. I'm here at Anime Los Angeles with Anime Los Angeles musical guest, Kaza. Hi. Hi, Kaza. How have you been? Good. How are you? Good, good. Are you enjoying the con? The con? Oh, yes. I've been having a great weekend. Yeah. Right, share me a little bit about your your musical background. I mean, how, how did this whole thing begin? Yes, uh, I, I was classically trained when I was a kid and just started singing solo. And then I met a guitarist um, who's, you know, who started this band together, uh, Hideki. Oh. Um, we became friends you know decided to form this band together and you know we came to USA started touring yeah it just kind of happened naturally uh, I was trained in uh, Italian opera yeah I, I've um, learned from so many different teachers uh, who sings Italian opera and yeah uh, my major in school was you know uh, voice vocal uh, soprano vocal yeah so why the the sudden change between classical and all of a sudden uh, you you sing rock and some would say maybe a little bit of heavy metal there? Yeah, well, the music I've loved to listen or anything um, was rock rock music, and I wanted to become a rock singer, but my parents wanted me to, you know. Uh, learn classic because they think that's the you know best way to build up your skill and everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> you said you're you're born and raised here correct or in Japan oh no in Japan yes oh, yeah but you debuted it in, in, uh, in USA yes oh, in, oh okay yeah. okay so I born in Japan huh. city called Yokohama huh. yeah huh. and I've been to other country with my parents because of my dad but I'm mainly born and raised in Japan kind of you know going back and forth like you know in between Japan and other country but yes I'm, I'm born and raised in Japan yeah gentlemen correct me if I'm wrong but this is this is your first album right here yeah right? yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this one here this one actually we worked on it back in 2009 in Japan and you know it has some Japanese lyrics and you know but you you know, I have strong feeling about this album because, you know, so many songs were written in the beginning of our career, like which is 12 years ago. Yeah, so I, I love this album and, you know, compared to other albums, the musical production, I mean, like sound wise, it's not great. I mean, it's not, you know, great, but um, I just have a special feeling. Yeah. Right, this was your first one yeah. and you said it was produced in Japan release here in the United, United, United States. States yeah well, uh, let's talk, what about your second album here yes this one uh, we worked with uh, um, engineer in Georgia Kingsland which is almost Florida mm -hmm. yeah and he he is a great engineer and producer and we met a band from Ohio who worked with him and you know they offered you know they recommended him to us so we went to the Florida studio and then worked with him and so music production definitely you know upgraded like you know everything heavier and more, more tighter and yeah so that's why I put the title evolution you know oh, there it is. because yeah we evolved oh. evolved yeah and correct me if I'm wrong but on your third album is where uh, you wrote or excuse me there's a ballad in, in the third album? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, each album, every every album has at least one ballad. I sing with piano and, you know, maybe one or two softer, you know, soft rock kind of feeling ballad. And yeah, this one also has one of the piano ballad and right. another love song, you know, it's a rock ballad. Well, um, there's so many genres of music, uh, pop, uh, you know, alternative. Why rock? specifically for, for you mm. uh, was it uh, Hiraki who uh, was was it was it he who played a major major influence in the band's genre um, you know um, I've been listening to rock hard rock heavy metal and I kind of wanted to do in between those three 
so not too much just rock but not too much metal but somewhere in between so I would consider you know I would call our band hard rock band okay. you know kind of in between but yeah it, it's just the genre that I really love and I feel like um, you know people say rock is already kind of how do you call it not the underground but you know but, but rock never dies I believe and oh yeah that's true yeah, it so dies. many people loves it you know so yeah with that being said would you classify your, your band as Visual K no not at all <laughs> <laughs> not at all <laughs> yeah pe people think that way oh, yeah, yeah because of how I dress and everything but no <laughs> Yeah. Who write, who's the songwriter here in the, in the, in so the band? Basically, I write the songs, but um, I take part in most lyrics and melody. And guitarist Hideki takes care of all the arrangement, background sound. So he basically kind of like a composing background sound. And then I do the melody and lyrics. But um, how we work is a little bit interesting, maybe different from other people, but um, she would give me so many riffs, you know, guitar riffs, mm -hmm. and then I'll cut them down in pieces and then put them together and make it into a song. So most, most of the part, I would say I'm the writer, but he's like an arranger later on. Right, you know, so for it's, all it's the a, instruments. It's yeah. a collaboration between yeah, a team, it's kinda, a team yeah, effort, basically. Going back and forth. Yeah. Uh, for those audience members who are just hearing about Kaza, never heard about Kaza, and want to hear your music, why should they listen to Kaza? Hmm. I think people, anybody can relate to, you know, at least a few of our songs. Because, you know, I write lyrics, um, you know, getting inspiration from life itself. It's not about war, you know, because I don't know anything about war. I mean, I can only learn about it from history. I've never been, you know, live in a war, you know. So I don't talk about war. I don't talk about politics because I'm not that... Uh, clever <laughs> but yeah so yeah things I don't know I won't write but it's more of people's feeling you know everyday life and yeah all the inspiration comes from life itself you know sadness madness or like you know happiness maybe some depression uh, would you say some of the songs are uh, from your own experience yeah but no I mean like yeah I always kind of try to be neutral like not going to too much personal stuff so it's not um, it's more like I talk to different people who have depression or you know who's been through so many surgery or you know I talk to people and then get their feeling and you know so it's almost like every every single people's feeling so into emotional it. experience yes, you would say yes so it's not too much personal but um, I know everybody can relate to some of our song mm -hmm. and that's why you know I want kids or elder people you know anybody to listen yeah would you ever like to have your music as an anime opening of or course <laughs> yeah a lot of our fans ask me why don't you do it but like, it's it's not that easy to get it you know <laughs> yeah yeah like it, a lot of songs could be good for like a fighting yes, anime yes. or yeah. we, were, we were at the concert me and my assistant and we were like hey this is so good for an anime oh, opening or yeah, an anime ending you know yeah. the bell are definitely yeah, an anime ending yeah <laughs> All right, you guys, you reached the end of the interview. But before we go, we'd like to make an, a special announcement. If you subscribe and uh, comment your favorite song down in the comments below, you have the opportunity to win this awesome swag from Kaza and it's signed. So go ahead and subscribe and comment below your favorite song from Kaza. I'll see you guys next time.